So I've been goofing around with this a little more. It's still running on the one and a half volt D cell. Um, capacity's still over there. I put a little wax around the top of this one, top of that one, just so that it would make it easier to get it close without having to short. Um, yeah, so there's an interesting coupling effect going on. So let's show you the waveform. Right now, this coupling is in effect. It's running at about 1.1 megahertz. But if I take my finger and just touch it to this other coil, now look at the waveform. We get uh, not a hell of a lot, right? That's maybe uh, three times slower. But now the only thing that I'm doing is with with that thing on the top there, like has been explained prior, that's a one PF cap. Uh, it's just connected one leg to the top of the base coil. The other leg is free floating, but it's put near the top terminal of this other coil, which is connected to the positive. It's the L3 coil. This is a TIP 42C circuit. This coil is also connected to the positive, and that coil is connected to the negative. And I've actually ended up moving this coil, which was over here more, over to the right to be more of a, a sheer influence on the positive and negative. So this is positive, this is negative, and this is the base coil. And these these are the two five wire pancake coils put in series uh, now, uh, which curiously when I first put them in series there wasn't any real noted difference in the waveform. So uh, it didn't double like I would expect it to with an increase in turns while having the current halv halving, halving the current. Anyway, so what I do now though is to bring that back into oscillation. I take my finger and I bridge the gap here. I touch this top coil and I touch that coil and I let go. And then look what happens to the waveform. The waveform jumps back up to that 1.1 megahertz and it gains amplitude in terms of spikes and peaks. Spikes with peaks. Uh, CFL overhead is glaring right off the screen there. Anyway, so Curiously, and then if I take the markers off, so you can see the voltages, right? I mean, it's 40 volts. 40 volts out at 1.1 megahertz. From a 1 volt in battery. And that's at 0.5 microseconds division.